for those of you who are not aware of the history of a movie that I adore, it's a musical, but it's also a movie. Most people have only seen the movie. Um, Rent was made by a man who never got to see his production. And what I mean by that is, is he died on the opening night of Rent. Um, he did not have AIDS like a lot of people think that he did. He, he did not have AIDS. However, I think that it is very important as an artist when you're talking about something so heartbreaking and tragic, something that destroys people's lives, and you don't even live to see the impact that that project has on the world. Um, I personally, I wear this AIDS bracelet, this HIV awareness uh, bracelet, because to me, I have a personal connection to it in my family, not of a gay person, which is something that everyone always assumes is that, well, I mean, it's a gay disease, it's not. My thing is more just, life is very short. And sometimes you make a project and you aren't around to see the impact of it. Like, Rent became this little phenomenon and what it did for the community and what it added to pop culture and what it did for musical theater nerds. It's a community typically flooded with LGBT people. And I just, I think that that's tragic and kind of beautiful that a man who wanted to bring light to an issue that was being swept under the rug ended up dying and not being able to see the impact that that work had, which was being more honest and open about the fact that we weren't talking about the crisis going on in the world. And I don't know, I guess as someone who wants to create things, it is both heartbreaking and something that I could only dream of doing. Creating something so perfect that even after I disappear, the work still is impactful. It doesn't need changed. It doesn't need edited. It is a standalone work of art. And I don't know, that's just a, a, a thought that I had about humanity and about art and about the things we leave behind.